Welcome to a video on clearing fractions. This is a technique that we can use um, right now for solving linear equations, but it can be used for many other types of equations as well. So the concept is uh, listed out here is to use the least common denominator to eliminate fractions from a linear equation or other equation before solving it. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply. I'm gonna multiply by the least common denominator. I'll just list it here as the LCD. All right, so let's take a look at an example or a couple of two examples where we'll do that. So here's the first one. If we have the equation negative one third x plus three halves equals negative five sixth x, this can be solved like a traditional um, uh, linear equation, except you notice that every term has a fraction. If you were to think about the least common denominator of the denominators, we have three and two and six. Um, all of those are, multi um, uh, can go into six, or six is a multiple of both three, two, and six. So the least common denominator here, in this particular case, is six. So the technique is to take both sides of the equation and multiply by this LCD. So we're gonna multiply the left side of the equation by six and the right side of the equation by six. This will clear the fractions and you'll see that technique played out here as we do that. So um, when we, on the left, we're going to distribute six times negative one third X. Now, if you can't do that in your head, you might think off to the side, right? Six times negative one third, make six a fraction. Notice that you get negative six over three and three goes exactly into six two times. So what happens is the reason you're clearing a fraction is using the LCD, the number will evenly divide into it. So we're left there with negative two X. And we'll, the same thing here, when we multiply six, times three halves, you might do that in your head or off to the side, you will get um, 18 halves and two goes into 18 and nine times. So you'll get plus nine. And then on the right hand side, you might just notice that the sixes um, will simplify with one another and we're left with just negative five X. Now it's a traditional linear equation with no fractions. That's where it gets its name, clearing fractions. So just maybe taking a couple more steps here, we could add two X to both the left and right hand side of this equation leaving us with nine is equal to negative three X. And then dividing each side by negative three will give us the answer of X equals negative three. All right, let's give you one more example of a clearing of fraction. Here is a secondary example. If we had something uh, maybe slightly more complex, let's say five over six X plus two equals one over X. Now this is a case where the LCD has a variable in it. The least common denominator can be found by looking at the, 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 the denominator six X and X, and the two has an unwritten denominator. It could be thought of as two over one. So the least common denominator itself is six X. So we're gonna multiply both sides of this equation by six X. So multiplying the left-hand side and multiplying the right-hand side by six X. Now we have to be careful of this in some instances when it might cause us to multiply by a zero, but that's not going to be a factor here, maybe in a different situation. So when we distribute, we're going to get um, the six X's will we'll cancel out there, we'll just get a five. And the second one will get 12 X. On the right hand side, notice as the X's cancel out, we're just left with a six. Um, as we continue solving this equation, if we subtract five from each side, we'll get 12 X equals one. And the last step dividing by 12 will get us X is equal to 1 12th. Notice that when we got to this line here, all of the fractions were gone. That's where it gets its name, clearing fractions. I hope you like this as a technique to simplify the process of solving linear equations.